So reference qualifier is nothing but use reference qualifier to create the filters that restrict the data that is returned for a reference field. So I'll show to you in a practical example only. So not in that story manner. See, for example, I'm ready to make it as an incident form. I'll show to you incident form. Incident dot list, for example, I'll just type that incident dot list. You can see all the list of the incidents are just ready to visible. Okay, so now what I want to do that I will just open a new form. So I like to just open a new form. Once you see how it should be and everything, uh, how it is right to display. So now come to here assignment group and assign two. So in these two fields are ready to just display the group of people. For example, so I am right to select. See here. When I click on assign to, then you can see how many records are there. 58 records are there. The two, it is a just related to a. So 58 records are present. Say 58 records are present. The two users details. Okay. So these are the users are 58 members are there. Once you check it, just I am ready to show. I am ready to just create and click on cab approval group. So what is that? Assignment group is a cab approval. I am selecting the assignment uh, group is a cab approval in this area. Okay, I selected one group. Then when I will go to that assigned to then I will click on search button. Once you see how many members are there now six members. What happened? So previously it is showing as a around 58 members are there. So now why it is showing as a six members something is there between these two fields is yes or no. So something is there. What is what is the relation between that assignment group and assigned to? So if anything is there means yes, dependency. So as per logic, once you see, I need to uh, taken as a assignment group is a cab approval. So for example, I given that work to the cab approval, but assigned to members is a another group members means it's not good. Na? So that's why what we need to do that. I just used to assign to is depending on this group. So that group members only it can ready to appear. If you want to select that in that group members only anyone you can select. Otherwise, so it's not possible to just continue or not possible to select a particular person. Got it? So that is called as a, is a dependent. So dependence is nothing but reference qualifier. Then how we will make it as a reference qualifier? I'll show it to you. So and I'm just now I'm ready to just remove this one. And now I'll go to the here. Uh, assigned to you just you can click on right click on it and configure dictionary so click on right click on it and the configure dictionary you can click on it then dictionary entry form has to open you can see this is the dictionary entry form and now so the options will be available which one so once you see i, I think it will write to just load the form Okay, once you see, so what we, what is the condition, a reference specification, na? we are ready to just give a user table reference, I am giving as a user table reference and the to use reference qualifier is a simple one, simple is nothing but, it is simply we can give a conditions like this and not only this one, you can give the dynamic also, dynamic is nothing but you can give a conditions, so dynamic reference qualifier conditions you need to give, so but i don't want to use this one simply i will take it as a simple only and not for that you can just take it as a advanced advanced means we need to write a queries so what the queries it will be see already it is a written uh, roles is equals to itil okay so that is the that conditions no i don't want to use this all are same so don't worry about that simple dynamic advanced all are same okay but so the simple is nothing but it looks like like this okay it's just you can give as a roles is a itil people only got it so which the role is a itil that people only you can select it okay so the conditions be given so reference qualifier in the name only it will be available qualifier means it will ready to qualify this reference okay what i'm giving the reference it should be ready to qualify it okay so that is a reason and next one okay so this is a qualifying this is only itil users are there 
just can you go and see how many users are there actually user table i'll show to you so users so users where is the user administration you can see in a next tab i'll just open that all users how many users are there so 744 users are there so but it is showing as around 50i why so reason you know so i'll check it once see i'll check it roles see roles is a itil see itil role only you can check it you can run it see uh, how many 57 records only it is right visible got it so that is the reason that's why we given as a when i'm right to just enter into the itil then only so that less people it is right to show and next one so active users or not active users everything we need to just find out so again you can just filter condition and that too and active is true active is true for example run i am trying to run this around 56 one person is again it was deleted so same condition i am trying to just copy this condition copy query i am trying to just copy this query and just i am trying to keep it in this area or otherwise you can write see and what it should be active is true i am trying to give true so you can just save it and same same condition so you can go and you can see advanced also it is showing like this and dynamic is also like this and simple is also like this okay so if i'm not giving that one uh, i want to just go to the dyne advanced and you can simply you can remove this one and you can just what you just copied and you can just paste it like this okay but i don't want to just like that so got it so simply i'll just go to simple method and simply uh, then after that i'll save it you can see active is true so now i'll go to incident form so now i'm going to in a new incident form okay so in that once you see once you check it once how many people are there see 58 members are there i think around one more person is a increased see so that is the reason and you can see here that is a where we are using the users are ready to appear okay so these are the conditions are if it is a false or true or whatever maybe you can just check it and next one okay so dependent field so what i'm going to show once just i'm ready to remove this one so i'm ready to cut this dependent field so once you save it and you can check it once again okay now i'm going to just see uh, this is a refresh right now you can see i'm going to check that how many assignment uh, people is there 58 members now now after selecting this area after selecting this assignment group is also for example cab approval only i'm ready to take and then again i'll check it once you see how many members are there 58 members are there because of the reason it is no relation between the assignment group and assigned to so i not given any dependent field name so that's why it's showing i would say all members but why we need to take this is logically it is a mistake because of the reason assignment group is a one group so in that group only you can select that assigned to persons but why it is showing all means it is a so difficulty that is the problem we can make it as a dependent field is a so i given as a assignment underscore group the name backend name of that field i given so when i give like this dependent field so when i write to save it then what will happen you know when i just enter into that form and again i will check it so what happening so now i'll refresh it you can see so before giving the assignment group it is showing as a 50i then if i'm right to just give as a cab approval so then you can see how many people are there only six members this is a filtering condition so because this assigned to is depending on that particular field and that too it is right to filter 
that is the reason that is the reason we have so assignment group is a dependent this is a reference qualifier we need to just qualify we need to just give a conditions to the particular field what it is ready to depend on it okay so that is the reason i hope uh, this is a very simple topic today what we discussed reference qualifiers very simple one so you can check it and just see here company is a simple one vendor is a true and if you want to take it as a dynamic also you can take advanced also you need to take that so that is examples and how to go to that just i'll i just i'm showing on that configure dictionary on that configure dictionary is a reference qualifier conditions we need to give that is active is a true okay so that's why so you need to take as a more conditions if you want to write you can write it so then that's it